Hi, it's Chester of Blue Pecan Computer Training. And in this video, we want to perform a partial match within an if function. So I need to apply a 12% discount to Jamie Oliver branded products. Now the way to do this is to start with the search function. And what this will do is return the numeric position of my find text within my within text. So my find text is here, let me fix that. And my within text is over here. Last argument is non-mandatory, start number. I'm not gonna use that. So search returns value unless it finds the numeric position of my find text string. Now if I copy this all the way down, you'll see that wherever it finds a J Oliver product, it returns a number. Now I'm not interested in the number as such, but I am interested in the fact that the result is a number. So if I put search within the is number function, this number will return true if there's a number and false if there isn't. So now I can say if this is true, then what I want to do is apply a 12% discount on this price. So I take this price and I multiply it by open bracket one minus the discount. Close the bracket. So one minus 12% gives me 88%. 88% of the price would give me the discounted price. Well, that's my value of true. My value of false is gonna be the original price. I'll close the bracket for if there. And now if I copy this down, apply a bit of currency format, you can see that wherever I have the Jamie Oliver branded product, I now have the discount applied. So my next task is to only apply the discounted price to Jamie Oliver pan products. So for example, this one here, all other Jamie Oliver products don't get the discount. Now to do this, I need to run two tests simultaneously. First test is, does the product description contain J Oliver? And the second is, does it contain Pan? Now both of those tests need to be met in order for the discount to be applied. Now the function to use in this context is the AND function. AND will run those tests simultaneously and only return true if both tests are met. Now, just to make this formula easier to write, I'm just gonna move this table down. I'll move it back up eventually. My logical test is gonna use the AND function now. And logical one is the first test that checks whether product description contains J Oliver. Now, the second test, I've got another comma in, is also going to use is number and search and the find text is going to be pan so i'll fix that comma my within text is again a2 close bracket for search close bracket for is number close bracket for and okay so now my logical test is the whole of this and statement and if i press enter copy this down you can see that my jamie oliver large pan product gets a discount but down here this product is not a pan product it no longer gets the discount is at its original price so i'll just move this back up okay that's all i wanted to cover in this particular video hopefully that's useful to you if it is please subscribe and i'll see you next video Thank you.